And that's happened plenty of times, right? It's the whole story of the 20th century. It happened over and over and over. And it happens in people's states. It happens in their business organizations. It happens in their cities. It happens in their provinces. It happens in their states. And it happens in their psyches, all at the same time. You can't blame the manifestation of that sort of thing on any of those one levels. It happens when a society goes down that way, it goes down everywhere at the same time. It's not the totalitarians at the top and all the happy people striving to be free at the bottom. It's not that at all. It's totalitarianism at every single level of the hierarchy, including the psychological. And so you don't want to be the thing, you don't want to be in chaos, that's for sure, but you don't want to be the thing that clings so desperately to the raft that you can't let go when someone comes to rescue you, right? You don't want to be that. So then you think, well, exactly, what are you? You're not the chaos, you're not the plan. Maybe you're the thing that confronts the obstacle. And I would say that's the categorical lesson of, of psychology insofar as it has to do with personal transformation. Because that's what you always teach people in psychotherapy. I don't care what sort of psychotherapist you are. You're always teaching them the same thing. You're the thing that can, you're not, you're not the plan. You're the thing that can confront the obstacle to the plan. And then when you know even further that the obstacle is not only an obstacle, but opportunity itself, well, then your whole view of the world can change because you might think, well, I've got this plan, something came up to object to it. It's like, it's possible that the thing that's objecting has something to teach you that will take you to the place where you develop an even better plan. And it's a nice framework to use. It's like, are you so sure that this is a problem? Is that the only way that you can look at it? Or is it an opportunity? I mean, I'm not trying to be, you know, naively optimistic. There are some things that it's pretty hard to extract gold from some dragons, and maybe the death of a family member is a good example of that. But in, even in a situation like that, I can tell you that it's an opportunity for, it's an opportunity for maturation, that's for sure. And the thing is, you might say, well, it's pretty miserable to go, b to be digging for gold when someone's falling into the grave. Well, if they really love you, first of all, that's what they'll want you to do. And second, you're going to make their death a lot more palatable experience for them if you're someone who can be in the room and be helpful instead of be, you know, quivering in the corner and feeling that the entire world is collapsing in on you. I mean, that's another. You want to be the useful person at the funeral. How's that for a goal? That's a good goal, man. You know that you've got yourself together in a situation like that because you're going to be at them. And maybe you want to be the person on whose shoulder people cry. That'd be a good goal. And it's kind of, you know, I don't like being naively optimistic. So when I tell you to get your life together, I'm not going to say roses and sunshine. It's like, that's, 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 that's pablum for fools. But it really is something to be the reliable person at a funeral. There's this idea in Jungian psychology called the circumambulation. And Jung had this idea that you had a potential future self, which would be in potential everything that you could be and that it manifests itself moment to moment in your present life by making you interested in things. And the things that you're interested in are the things that would guide you along the path that would lead you to maximal development. Now, it sounds like a metaphysical idea or a, or a mystical idea even, but, but it's not. It's, it's not. It's a really profoundly biological idea. The idea is something like, well, you're set up so that you're automatically interested in those things that would fully expand you as a well-adapted creature. Well, like, there's nothing radical about that idea. How el what else could possibly be the case? Unless there's something fundamentally flawed about you, that is what the, the situation would be. It's kind of interesting to think about how that would be manifest moment to moment, but the idea is something like, well, your interest is captured by those things that lead you down the path of development. Well, that better be the case. Okay, so that's fine. And so there's some utility in pursuing those things that you're interested in.